what I'm about to tell you is going to completely flip your entire world upside down. And the belief system that you've held for so long is no longer going to apply. They say insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting different results. And right now, millions of us are doing exactly that. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting things in our life to change. Now growing up, we're all taught a lot of things. And many of these things sound good, but they don't really apply to the real world. So when we get out there in the real world and we try to apply what we've been taught growing up, something really curious happens. And what happens is that the things that we have been taught don't seem to work. What if everything that you've been taught about becoming a more attractive man is completely wrong? What if you went to law school for 10 years and then when you finally got out, you discovered that everything that you read in the books was useless in the real world? That would be a really hard pill to swallow, yet many guys wake up to this exact reality every single day. Where the things that they've been taught regarding how to survive in this world just don't seem to apply. So what then is the truth? Because we all want the truth. What you're about to learn might seem paradoxical at times, meaning some of these truths seem so ridiculous on the surface that it's almost impossible to believe that they are true. Yet despite what you've been led to believe, it is all true. Everything that we do as men is a direct result of a core belief system that we currently hold in our head. This means that yes, we can wear masks and we humans are incredibly talented at mimicking things, particularly the behavior of other humans. And some of us can become so good at wearing masks, in fact, that we begin to blur the lines between who we really are and who we are only pretending to be. But what happens when we take our masks off? What happens when our insecurities leak through and our act is exposed for what it truly is? Any man can completely change himself and transform into what he has always wished to be, but it all starts with his core system of beliefs. Things like wealth and status serve as powerful masks and they are pretty good at covering up our insecurities and flaws. But any success that we might gain from wearing these masks is only temporary. And what we all want as men is lasting success. What we all want is that thing that's going to stay with us and keep on giving back to us throughout the rest of our life. All the little things that we have issues with, like not being able to hold a conversation well or walking or talking in ways that cause other people to see us as unconfident men, all these problems are simply reflections of our core beliefs about ourselves and the world around us. So when you change those, you change the entire paradigm. It's like hitting the reset button. Most of the advice out there focuses on giving you ways to cover up or hide your problems rather than telling you how to actually fix them. Now, most of you would much rather become an attractive man rather than simply acting like one. Very few things in this world remain constant, but one of the things that you can pretty much always count on being the same is fundamental human behavior. Imagine trying to play a game that you know nothing about, and that particular game is so complex and so real that it would take most of your life to figure it all out by yourself. This is the path that many men have had to take in life, and it is from these men that we can learn the fundamentals of becoming a more attractive man. So with that said, let's begin. Every single year, like clockwork, men spend billions of dollars in an attempt to become more attractive. Some of our favorite toys are fancy watches, nice shoes, fast sports cars, and the list goes on and on. And even more money is spent on cosmetic things like fixing baldness, whiter teeth, and other things that we believe will give us the edge that we are looking for. Now right now, and for thousands of years now, there is not a single man on the planet who does not want to be able to attract females. And one of the most fundamental desires that we have as men is to be able to gain attention from our female counterparts. This is a universal desire that we all have, and if any guy tells you otherwise, you really shouldn't trust him. And the things that make a man attractive are not the things that can be seen, but rather they are the things that can only be felt. Things like wealth, status, and other factors make up a small piece of the puzzle, but they are the 20% that don't really matter. It's the internal confidence, integrity, and things like self-belief that truly make a man attractive. Things like wealth and a luxurious lifestyle these are nothing more than masks that men wear. The majority, or the other 80% of what makes a man truly attractive simply cannot be bought. Instead, it must be earned through experience and trial and error. But more importantly, through a new way of thinking. Now let's move on to the most important part of this entire video and possibly the knowledge that has the greatest potential to change your life. Out of all of the various things that make a man attractive, none are anywhere near as powerful as this one frame of mind. 
You see, 80% of men are doing it all wrong simply because of the way that they think. Many of the decisions that you are making in your life right now, if not all of them, are based on one thing and it's called scarcity. When we think about money, most people think about it from a scarcity mindset, meaning they believe there is only so much of it to go around and once it's gone, it's gone. But as our American government proves to us every single day, money is not a scarce resource and it is constantly printed out by the billions on a daily basis. And with a scarcity mindset, we end up making decisions based entirely on fear or the fear of not having any money left. Something like gold is viewed as a scarce resource because there's only so much of it available on this planet. If there is as much gold as there is water on this planet, it wouldn't seem so rare any longer, would it? The scarcity mindset for most people penetrates every aspect of their life. And if you think the job you currently have is the only way to make money, all of the decisions that you make regarding that job are going to be based around the fear of losing it. If you think that the girl that you're with is the only girl that you're capable of attracting, you're once again going to make decisions out of fear, such as choosing to stay with her even if she's an awful fit for you. Because you simply don't believe that there are 3 billion other girls on this planet who might be a better fit. I once overpaid many thousands of dollars for a very specific car that I wanted because I feared that I would never find another one just like it. This is the same mindset that causes a stock trader to sell off his entire portfolio at the slightest sign of market trouble. The scarcity or the fear-based mindset is also the cause of all sorts of emotions like anger and jealousy. And it's the precise reason why some people are willing to attack you over a parking space. Imagine if we were caught up in a zombie apocalypse and there was only one building left where food could be produced for the population. Every single person on the planet would be fighting over that single building out of the fear of not having any more food. And in this situation, that would make perfect sense. But since we are not all dealing with a zombie apocalypse, there is plenty of food, plenty of money, and plenty of everything else that we currently believe are scarce resources. 99% of the time, the things that we think are scarce are actually really abundant. It's just that we think in our heads that they are scarce. So we end up giving them far more value or importance than they really deserve. Most of the things that men do that make them come off as unattractive are the direct result of having a scarcity mindset. The way that we spend our money, the way that we dress, the way that we walk, the way that we talk. We say things to other people all the time just to make other people happy and we sacrifice our opinions or our own integrity just to please people and make sure that they like us. Why? Because our decisions are based out of fear. The fear of not being liked or the fear of being judged by other people or the fear of losing someone that we think is a friend. Many guys have so-called friends who treat them like crap all the time and they continue to put up with it because they genuinely believe that they won't find better friends. They put up with the same job that they hate because they believe that they won't find one that's more fulfilling or that pays more money. And every decision that they make is based out of the fear of losing something that they think is scarce rather than the excitement of gaining something new. When you're interacting with someone, think about the things you say or do and what they are based on. For most people, you will find that many of them are fear-driven, which comes from a scarcity frame of mind. Fear is actually the number one thing that stops pretty much all of us from doing the things that we want to do or saying the things that we want to say. And it regularly stops us from enjoying the life that deep down we know that we deserve. And fear, nine times out of 10, is driven by the thought of losing something that we believe is scarce. But all these things that we think are gold are only portraying themselves as gold. There is an endless supply of jobs out there. There is an endless supply of money. And there is an endless supply of new friends, new opportunities, and great people. And it all comes down to your frame of mind. Men who are viewed as incredibly attractive to pretty much everyone around them do not operate from a scarce or fear-driven state of mind. Instead, they know deep down that there is always more. There is always another girl who will like them or another job that will pay good money, or another car that will be just as cool as the one that they've had. It might not be exactly the same job, or exactly the same girl, or exactly the same friend, but it will be enough to make you happy. And with that said, I just want you guys to keep your head up during these rough times that we're having out here. And just make sure that you understand that no matter what it is that you want, or whatever it is you're striving for, that as long as you put in enough time and enough effort, whether it's becoming more attractive, or just becoming a better man in general, whatever it is that you want, Eventually, you will be able to achieve these things. But before you can do any of this, you have to get your mind right. And eliminating the scarcity mindset is the first step to that process. So with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.